that the park police were here and were doing nothing. Then they did. I want to just make a point for women having future events like this. The, in the application process for the permit, there was a question, which was, do you anticipate any disruption of your event? I answered that question, yes. And I had an interview with the permit people, and they asked me to explain it, and I did my best to do that. But the problem is, at that time, the park police didn't take this threat seriously because they didn't understand it. They didn't know. They do not, law enforcement generally does not understand what threats women are under all over the world, especially in the United States, but they're starting to. And so for women who are having future events of this nature, please do your best to make sure your local law enforcement, or federal, is, as applies here, this is the U.S. Park Police, make sure they understand the level of threat. Show them video of previous events. And I do just also really want to commend the U.S. Park Police for really standing up and yes. protecting women and girls here today. Yes. So thank you. using your power, don't you? Well, here's the thing. If you insult me, what, what can I do? If I insult you, you can arrest me for it, right? Like, here you go. Because I haven't insulted any of you, but I've been insulted about 15, 20 times. Yeah, because you're a bitch-ass pig. Oh, so we're going to play that game, right? How about a fruit toll? What? What are fruit tolls for you guys? You guys want to jump So, um... Do I have any fruit tolls? No, I'm asking you a question. Officer, no fruit tolls. So, so, MCS. Yes, Parkwood, yes, BP. Let's go through the charcoal. Why is your man over there going to the throat? Tall guy right there, standing up front. Let's see the money up right now. Why does that? No. That's what I was asking you. You're an uninterrupted. 
What are the charges? You just started attacking us. Where are they going? They won't tell us. They don't, they don't have anything. No, of course not. They're just going to go beat it. Uh huh. They're trying to make something up. Uh huh. You got it? Too bad. They don't give you a They'll probably get a bad Probably. Yeah. No, it's not. That's why they're here. You can protest and do whatever you want. But when you became physical, you start to do too much. And that's why they're here. Oh no, no, they literally just came and picked someone up who was sitting on the ground. And then they grabbed someone's neck. They grabbed their neck. They grabbed someone's neck for no reason. My motherfucking neck. Okay. 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 Are you talking about my phone holster? 
<laughs> this holds a phone, just in case I, that was. Uh, yeah, no, I'm like, I'm like real nervous. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's dangerous. That's a violation of five statues. This is a <laughs> this is a nerd device. This is yeah, not a nerd device. device. What is it? All right, well we're not doing anything here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Ironically, the reason I use a phone holster is so that I never have to like quickly reach into a pocket if I have to like quickly grab a phone. Yeah, so they see that it's a phone before I'm reaching for it. Flannel. <laughs> he was talking about you. Yeah, when he said flannel, I thought he was the guy with actually flannel. Right. Well, yeah, there's two. Yeah, two with flannel. So it's, yeah. it's a nice fall day. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, that was bizarre. Yeah. Okay. From what they said in my mind, there's a 100% chance that person is no papered. There's no way that that person is charged as of when, like, an actual prosecutor will say. So, you think so? I'll vote money on it. So for that, so for that, it's... Uh, uh, is press or, or uh, activists? Activists is a press. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> She apparently didn't comply hard enough with uh, I mean, the uh, and so they charged her with uh, like blocking an incommoded, which is normally a civil right. charge. Yeah, she's been prosecuted. She got trial date and she got huh. But that, right, different story though. Huh? Like, huh. All right, well, we will see. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. So with the U.S. Park Police, that it's like a, it would be a federal charge, or would they like well, for this, this, was, this was Capitol Police. Right here? What? No, no, no. They were charging oh, the other actors. You're about the other thing, right. Yeah. So for this... This was Parks Police. I feel like they typically end up Park throwing Police them to MPD, don't they? MPD. Yeah. The lo- M- Metropolitan. Yeah, but you charge them on fees and just a few more people every time they show up. Um, I do genuinely... There's a, there's a real marked difference between the female uh, so-called trans activists and the male trans activists. Uh, and the other people that turn up, there's a lot of females that champion these men that talk more about trans women, so-called trans women, uh, i.e. men, than they do about anybody else. Um, some of the men come dressed as women, uh, but while some of those men just look like nasty, violent, horrible, just any excuse and they'll hit you men, uh, there's always a particularly clinically insane young woman and I don't mean that in some sort of hyperbole, nasty, vicious uh, way of describing her, but I mean genuinely, really troubled, very unhinged uh, young women. Um, and I think that there is a there is a mental health crisis around this particular movement, and I think it does is it sucks in some really vulnerable girls, uh, and we have to. Uh, if, if for nothing else, we have to stop this so that those girls have a chance of healing and getting better. So, we came here to say women don't have penises. I believe we said it. Uh, we came here to say there's no such thing as non-binary. I believe we also said that. I think we had a scattering of women, men don't have vaginas. Um, and we definitely had transitioning children as abuse. Uh, we will continue to speak. I have talked to, and lefty women, you're not going to like this, and I'm going to say it anyway. Um, I have talked to conservatives, lefty, and women who have no political affiliation. I'm telling you, the most difficult women uh, to reach across the aisle are women on the left. And by doing that, what you're doing is you're giving up this fight to men on the right. So if you want women, particularly women on the left, but just plain old women, you know, the old-fashioned kind with vaginas, the real you, ones, the real ones. If you want plain old women, us, our voices to be those that are heard above all else, uh, then you have to support working across the aisle. You have to think first and foremost we are women. The things that divide us are secondary. First and foremost we are women. Every time you castigate a woman for talking from the left to the right, for standing with other women, you basically hand this argument over to men on the right, on the right, and those men on the right, they don't have the same interests as we do. Uh, 
that they don't want the same things for women as we do because they're just not women. So I personally am happy for anybody to speak up, but the people that should be charging this fight are those of us with the greatest risk, and that is women. This is our fight. Men, you can come along, but please, for God's sake, you walk behind. Um, so I think we're doing a fine job here today. Um, if you can put aside the differences and you can focus your eyes on the prize, then I promise we will win. If you can ensure that when you have an opportunity to come out and the 13th of this month is Philadelphia, uh, look on standingforwomen.com uh, for uh, events for any information. Uh, if you want to donate to our documentary, which is going to be the story of women in this struggle, uh, then it's standingforwomen.com forward slash documentary. If you can put divisions aside, if you can just keep your eyes on the prize, uh, if you can look at trans activists and laugh in their silly faces, uh, I promise we will win. And do you know why else we're going to win? Because, because I never lose! Okay, so the uh, rally here, uh, which was called Let Women Speak, was um, a turf. I, I realized that I put that in the caption, and uh, to people who don't know, turf is trans exclusionary radical feminist. Basically, it's a movement of people who uh, purport mostly leftist uh, feminist positions, uh, but don't believe um, that that uh, transgender people are included in that struggle. Uh, hence, turf. Um, they just held their rally there. That's kind of a tour that's been going on across the country. Uh, some people counter-protested them. Uh, police pushed them back because uh, the uh, original rally had a permit, whereas the counter-protesters did not. Um, at some point after being pushed back, there was a struggle. I didn't really see the beginning of it, uh, but I kind of ran over and it turned out that one of the counter-protesters was arrested. So I'll be able to review and post my footage just a little bit later. So uh, in the meantime, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, once again, thank you for watching. Have a great rest of the day.